Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change some of the settings on your LG G Watch. Now, as you can see, if I tap the screen, the watch face wakes up, and it's not the brightest, and there are also some other settings that we might want to change. So with the watch off of my wrist, I'm gonna turn it over and just show you that on the back, there are indeed five little contacts, and these are used for charging the G Watch. And then just above, there's a little tiny recessed button looks like a little reset button now i'm going to use a little tiny screwdriver but you could quite as easily use a pen or any other sort of pointed instrument now for this to work the watch face has to be awake so you have to tap on here and then turn the watch over and then push this button in for about a second and then turn the watch back over and you're into your settings menu now the settings that are available are to adjust the brightness always on screen which is set to on at the moment we've also got access to aeroplane mode we've also got a power off option a restart option also a reset device and also change watch face and about this device now change watch face is pretty much the same as what you can access in the main user interface what we're really interested in showing you here is the top option which is to change the brightness, which I think is very important because I was finding that the default option was quite dull. So here we can see it's set to two. If we go to one, it goes even duller. Back up to two, back up to three, four, five, and then maximum brightness is six. And as you can see, that's very bright indeed. I found that during my tests, a happy medium is round about the three or four mark. So let's set, select four for now, and then we go back, and then back again, and this is at brightness number four. I think that's more than acceptable. And now just to show you as well uh, why we got the brightness up again, this was in my main unboxing video, but I just want to show you the other watch faces. So let's tap and hold, and let's change to a couple of different watch faces, just so you can see what the brightness looks like in these ones. This scroll round to let's have a look at like an analog one this is quite nice and then one of my favorites which is this one very very cool and with that brightness taken up to level number four this is much more readable in direct sunlight so I just wanted to show you this again on the wrist the viewing angles are pretty good and I think that now I've got that brightness up to level four it's a much better experience the only thing that I haven't found yet, and perhaps I'm missing it, or perhaps they give us it in an update, is how to adjust the dimming timeout, which seems to be on a default around about four seconds. I would like to be able to adjust that to maybe 10 seconds. It's just a personal preference. Maybe this is fine for you. Or again, maybe I've missed it somewhere in the settings. It's early days for me yet with the LG G Watch. But so far, so good. I've been really liking it, and it's a really nice quality device. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has been useful to you. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, there are two places you can find the subscribe button. On the main channel page, it's just up here in the top right hand corner. If you're on a video watch page, then you'll find it just underneath the video you've been watching. Click on the subscribe button and that means that you are now subscribed to the Geekanoids channel. But there is one more step you must take. Click on the little cog icon next to the subscribed button, put a tick in the send me updates box and click save. Job done. Thank you very much for watching again. I'll see you next time.